There are 700,000 burglaries in the UK every year. It just seems bad. <laughs> Oh, they just broke the door. But they've smashed the back door completely into pieces. But right across the country, dedicated police teams are on the offensive, waging war against the criminals who steal from local homeowners. Police, come and open the door, otherwise entries could have to be forced. For the victims of these crimes, it can take months, even years, to come to terms with what's happened. Everything was gone. Everything. But in this series, we're about to show them and you how we can all beat the burglars. This is Crime Scene Rescue. Coming up on today's show, we meet 66-year-old widow Olympia. Her home has always been her retreat from the world. But now her fragile sense of security has been shattered after becoming the victim of a burglary. Really, so upset. It's just ridiculous. And while the police work hard to track down her stolen items, we do everything we can to make Olympia's house as secure as possible. That is amazing. Yeah. I shot the police. What's your emergency? Um, I've, I've been broken into while I've been in bed and they've stolen my car from outside as well. The West Yorkshire Police protect both rural areas and busy cities such as Leeds. And like many large forces, they face an ever-present threat of burglaries. They have over 200 incidents each week. And for some victims, it happens at the most frightening time possible, while they're at home. I've come into public. A stroke something. I've got a bad heart. Just try and calm down. <laughs> It's approaching 10 in the morning, and I've rushed to a priority call a few miles outside Leeds city centre to meet with PC Graham Lawton, who's attending his first break-in of the day. The homeowner, Olympia, woke this morning to find she had been burgled while she was asleep in bed. So far, she's noticed that a much-loved car, television and some precious jewellery have all been taken. It was an awful feeling because I got up and I looked out of the window and I thought... Well, my car's not there, you know, because I always try, I always yeah. park it. Outside. And somebody, and well, the annoying part is that somebody else is parked where I park my car. How have they parked there? So I'm looking, where's my car? I thought, oh my God, my car's not there. It was just an unbelievable feeling. But what shocked me more than anything, because you still think somehow it's parked somewhere else, is when I came out and I saw that empty and I thought they've been in the house. So obviously this is where you're And stolen the television. What time did you get up today? Quarter That's to fine. nine, I think. Twenty to is nine. Is it all right if like I that. just go have a look at the door where they've got in? The criminals gained entry by snapping the lock on Olympia's back door. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Don't, you, just, don't you worry. You're I just couldn't believe it. The first yeah. thing is just disbelief. But it's my little car. Whilst PC Lawton takes some detailed notes to aid him in his investigation, Olympia notices other items have been stolen. Oh, no. Oh, my camera. I'm really so upset. It's just ridiculous. I really feel for Olympia. She's lost her car, television, and a selection of jewellery which included a couple of irreplaceable 22 karat gold bangles which she'd inherited from her mother. Plus the thieves have taken her camera which was packed full of memories. What really makes me angry though is that the low lives broke in while she was in bed so they've robbed Olympia of her sense of security too. I really want to see what I can do to help her. Is it fair to say at the moment you feel quite quite vulnerable and insecure here? Very much so. But I was sort of conscious to be careful with having locked doors and it just seems ridiculous that somebody can just so easily snap the door and just walk into your house while you're in bed and take your television away and steal your car all at the same time. And I'm just devastated, really. This is what I think we can do for you. I think... We can change your locks, mm. make them a lot more secure so they can't be snapped out and removed. Yeah. And if they were to snap the lock, what we're going to put on the door, mm. the door won't open. Right. You see, so they won't be able to get in anyway. 
Also, I've noticed around the outside of your house, it's very dark. You've got no lights that I could see no. on the side. Now, a very good thing is putting some lights on there that can activate if someone was to walk yeah. down the side or you can put them on and mm. it, it lightens it up and yeah. it actually works as a really good deterrent right. for any would-be burglars. Mm. And is that something you'd, you'd be willing to consider if we were to put those on? I would absolutely on? love that. I'm hoping that by making Olympia's house as secure as possible, it will begin to feel like her home again. The top priority right now is fixing the locks on Olympia's doors. So I've drafted in Matthew the locksmith to get straight to work. Well, this is the door what's been broke into. As you can see, the handle has been broke. We're going to remove the handle. We're going to put a snap safe cylinder on and some past 24 handles, which will make it a lot, lot more secure than it was. While Matthew works to secure the property, PC Lawton continues to investigate the burglary. What I'm trying to do now is build up a scene um, where the burglaries happened and in between what times. I'm visiting local residents to see if any of them have heard or seen anything connected with the incident. On a normal handle, what we're replacing is just hollow, very, very weak. So these are hardened, solid handles and they just do the job. Hello, sir. Um, I'm making inquiries regarding a burglary which has happened at your neighbour's house next door. Yeah. Now, I notice you've got a CCTV oh. camera. Yeah, yeah. Would it be all right if we viewed the footage to yeah, see if yeah. anything's been captured? No problem. Oh, very good. There is eight hours worth of footage here covering the time periods of the burglary at the house next door. Um, it will be my job now to view this um, and see if anything evidentially is on it. That's the job done. PC Lawton has spotted another CCTV camera near Olympia's house. The cooperative funeral care, they have two cameras, so I'll be contacting them today. Um, when I go back to the station after doing the house to house. And hopefully we'll catch something on it. It's a few days later, and at the police station, PC Lawton is on hand to provide an update about how the investigation is going. Making inquiries nearby at a local business premises, um, we've recovered more CCTV, um, viewed that, and it shows the actual Mini moving away at around 3.12am. Uh, also, there's a youth um, on the video who appears to be keeping watch and walking up and down outside the address. Um, Enquiries are on at the minute trying to identify that youth. The police have also been busy contacting local shops. They've given them a description of Olympia's jewellery, in particular her prized 22 karat gold bangles, which are unique. PC Lawton hopes they may get a lead on the criminals if they try to sell these cherished items. Back at Olympia's house, Neil the electrician has turned up to fix an outside security light to the side of the house. But I really want to go the extra mile for Olympia. Her current alarm is outdated, so I've also arranged for Nathan to fit a new top-of-the-range burglar system in a bid to make her feel much safer in her home. So, so Nathan, there's a um, mention of a panic button. Is that something you're going to be installing here as well? Uh, yes, that'll be going into the um, master bedroom, uh, basically. Um, if there's any noise, she feels unsure, I'll say, oh, she can press the button, her alarm system will go off. Fantastic, thank you. Homes which have a visible alarm are around three times less likely to be burgled. Outside, Neil and Nathan are both reaching new heights, especially as the new exterior security lighting is being placed well out of the way so it can't easily be smashed. So, Neil, you've put the light in. It looks great. So how's that actually going to turn on? Is it going to be activated by movement? Yeah, it'll be activated by movement uh, only on a night light, so it won't come on through the... So not only is this going to help Olympia, who lives here, if she's walking through, it's going to light up for her, but obviously if there was an intruder sneaking around, they're going to get lit up like a Christmas tree as well. Yep. Excellent, Neil. Brilliant work. Thank you very much. 
I'm hoping that Olympia will now feel much safer thanks to the additional security features that are now in place. So Olympia, it's been a few days now. How have you been after everything that happened? I was actually in shock for at least two, nearly three days. But also, I think I really expected for things to turn up. And it's gone through different stages. I've gone from still being in shock, to being very upset, to being angry. And I still find myself that I'm in this mode. Now, I know when we first met, when, when this actually first happened, you said you felt very vulnerable being in the home because the way that they snapped the lock off your door and actually just helped themselves into your house, stole your TV. I just cannot believe and, how they can do can't. that. It must be such an awful feeling for you. But what we want to do is make sure that that never happens again. And, and oh, we've made please. sure that the locks yeah. have been changed. So the locks that you've got on now are so much more secure than what you had before. That's front yeah. and back. Mm. We've also put in a light down the side so that if anyone was to be sneaking down the side mm. of your house, that's going to light up straight yeah. away. Really good deterrent that. Mm. And we've also, as you can see, put in the new intruder alarm in your home. Right. So this way, you can set this if you're asleep. Yeah. And that alone, if that's armed, that will put anyone off because mm. if they come in and set that off and all the bells are going, it, yeah. it's really going to be a great deterrent because we obviously don't ever want this to happen to you again. No. We just want you to feel at home here in, uh, in your house. It's a few weeks since the burglary and I've heard that Olympia is still really struggling and continues to feel vulnerable despite the extra security measures we've added. I'm really committed to getting her back on track so I've come back to see if there's anything more we can do. So, Olympia, how are you feeling at the moment? I'm really, really surprised how much it has affected me. Um, it's just as though it's a very late reaction shock. I cannot forget about it because on a night, I either stay up very late and fall asleep on the sofa, and then I think, oh, my God, you know, I could have been asleep there when they broke in. And... Then I will take the television upstairs so that it acts as background music. Or I think if anyone does break in, you know, they will hear sound upstairs and it might deter them. So I'm constantly thinking about it all the time. And um, I've not been sleeping very well. This isn't on. You, you do feel vulnerable. You've got no right to feel like that because no one it shouldn't be fair it's not fair on you it's not fair that this this has happened so we're going to try and help you and try and get your uh, your home back because at the moment it doesn't feel like that does it sadly it's usual for victims to lose confidence after a break-in in fact one in four people report difficulty in sleeping after being burgled but it's my mission to restore olympia's sense of well-being so she can sleep peacefully in her own bed again Crime prevention expert PC Paul Croft is here to suggest further security measures. So Paul, you're having a look at uh, Olympia's house here, just see if there's anything else we can do to try and up her security, because she's clearly still feeling very vulnerable. We've changed the locks on the doors, and you've had a look at those, and, and you I think have. they're okay? Uh, I think they're great. What about lighting, though? We've put one light in on the side, which I'll show you in a moment. On the back, there's nothing here. Do you think we should think about putting one in? I do, really. If we look up and down the street a little bit, the next door have got lights either side of the door, which to me, although there are um, street lamps present, the fact that they've got those is indicating that perhaps when it's dark, it is quite dark down the back of this street. So, yeah, I think it would be uh, a benefit to put some dusted on lighting either side of this door uh, and just to give it that ambient glow in, in the back garden. That's nothing too harsh, it's just when it gets dark, the light will come on and just illuminate this area so no one could be sneaking around. That's right. I think we can do that. And if we go around and have a look at the side, we'll show you the light we put in and, and give me your thoughts on that. Now we've put this in here. Purposely, it was put in really high so no one's going to throw anything and, and smash that light down there. It's going to be quite strong, but if anyone's sneaking around in the dark, it's going to be bright and, and uh, illuminate the area. Yeah, it's ideal, is that? If you're going to fit a light like this with a PIR on it, you have to fit it out of the, uh, the height of, that somebody can reach, and there's no way anybody's going to reach that. OK, so that's the light on the side, and this is the front of the property. Again, locks have been changed. Are you happy with the standard of these locks? Do you think these are as good as we're going to get on this property? Definitely. They're the best uh, that you're going to get. Uh, same for the back and the front, identical, which is great. I'm very pleased with those. I'm pleased that Paul thinks we've already made some big steps in the right direction with the security at Olympia's house. However, there's still more which can be done. 
I'm going to get on the phone to some local tradespeople to see if we can make Olympia's house even more secure and help rebuild her love for her home. Hi, Ian, it's Rav. Charlotte, it's Rav. Alex, hi, it's Rav. Ian, it's Rav here. Uh, I think you could help us out with something if, if you're available. Obviously, since the burglary, she's, she's not felt at home at all. And I think if you can try and change that for her, you'd really make a massive difference. And we've actually put in uh, a new burglar alarm for her, so she's got a brand new system. And if you can tie it in with that, I think that'll be absolutely spot on. I've just been uh, to see your sister. Um, Olympia and I, I think we can help her out but um, what I want to do is get as many people around as, as possible to make this happen. Charlotte that's brilliant I'll send you the details and I'll meet you over the address. Whilst my band of helpers get ready for action there's some interesting news regarding the police investigation. PC Graham Lawton has got a potential lead on the whereabouts of Olympia's 22 karat gold bangles. An unknown female has rung a local jewellery shop saying she has a couple of gold bracelets to sell. Suspecting they may be Olympia's, the shop has been in touch with the police. With regards to the jeweller's shop, what we will do, if we've got the staffing levels available, officers in plain clothes will be put inside the shop, probably at the back of the shop so they can't be seen, and we'll try and identify the customer and the bangles when they come in. Um, it's a positive line of enquiry for the burglary. Um, we've got that and the CCTV evidence, so we're moving forward nicely, I think. It's early morning and time for a still shaken Olympia to leave her home of many years so we can get on with the rest of our work here. Weeks have passed since the burglary, but the feelings of distress have not. It's time to use every ounce of energy we have to make this home as secure as possible. My band of helpers are on their way. We've drafted in Olympia's family and tradespeople from across the neighbourhood, and they're all desperate to lend a hand. OK, thank you to everyone for coming round so quickly. The reason I've called you is to help Olympia out, who lives in this house. Now, she was asleep in her bed, and someone broke in and burgled her. Now, as you can imagine, she feels extremely nervous and vulnerable staying here. Well, I want to change that, and I can only do that with your help. I want to get in there, let's fix this place up, let's make it so much safer and more secure than it's ever been. And Charlotte, as a little extra, I want you to have a look on the inside and see if there's something you can do there to make her feel like she can relax again in her own home. So let's get in there and fix this place up. Yeah! yeah. As well as further updating the security on Olympia's home, I also want to give her bedroom a facelift to help banish the bad memories this room still has following the break-in. Designer Charlotte Brewer will lead the transformation of this space. Olympia's not done a lot to the room um, since it was originally decorated, so we want to try and really update it, freshen it up and give it a whole new feel so she feels comfortable in a space that she can really come and relax in. So maybe some calming colours, that sort of thing, so she yeah. can come and relax up here and put what happened downstairs behind her. Yeah, exactly. She's got quite a classic, traditional style, so I think we'll use that as the basis of the design and then bring in some more glamorous um, elements to kind of warm it up and make it really comfortable for her. Uh, yeah, I've been burgled a couple of times myself. I live in the local area, so uh, it's nice to be able to hop out. You know, so I've been there myself, I know how difficult it is. Alongside the changes being made in Olympia's bedroom, we are continuing to improve the security throughout. Downstairs, lighting expert Ian is fitting an intelligent timer circuit which will turn internal lights on and off in a random pattern. So, Ian, I can see you're doing some work on the light here. What is this you're putting in? Uh, basically, I'm installing the uh, Arago Intelligent Lighting System. You can control the system with your mobile phone and that sort of thing. So you wow. Can, yeah, it's, uh, and it's fully online, so you can access it through a network. If she is at home and she sets the alarm at light, night to go to bed, the same thing can happen. We can just have the ground floor lights coming on, so it won't interrupt her when she's in bed. Brilliant. Well, Ian, that sounds absolutely great. I'll let you crack on, because you're nearly yeah, finished. Yeah, there, but yeah. I think she's going to be very happy with that. Good. Thanks. Thank you.
real headway is being made in Olympia's bedroom, and it's not just local tradespeople who are getting stuck in. So, Alec, great to see you. Obviously, Olympia's brother, you know her better than anyone else. And do you think by trying to do up this bedroom to give her somewhere where she can relax again, do you think that's going to help her out after what happens? Oh, I'm sure it will. This will cheer her up no end. Well, that's what we really want to do. And obviously, there's work to be done, but it's already looking like a completely different room. So you think this is going to be her, her taste? I'm sure it will. This is wonderful. It, compared to what she had before, mm -hmm. And uh, she will love this, so you're doing a marvellous job, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much for coming over. I know she's going to be very, very pleased. Outside, Ian is fitting lights on each side of Olympia's exterior doors, which will come on from dusk to dawn. We are also adding sash jammers to the windows to make them much safer. It's early evening, and while commuters are heading home from a busy day at work, the police remain on the trail of the burglars. Back at the station, PC Graham Lawton has an update regarding Olympia's much-loved gold bangles that had been a gift from her mother. Um, we had enquiries to make at the local jeweller's shop where a female had offered some similar property for sale. We had an operation planned for the Saturday when she was due to come into the shop. Unfortunately, there was very heavy snowfall and the lady never showed up to the premises. I have been in touch with the jeweller and the female has never got back in touch. So that side of the investigation has gone a bit cold at the moment. Alongside the investigation into the stolen bangles, the police have been actively checking roadside cameras for signs of Olympia's car, and their hard work has yielded results. The car has been recovered, but in a number of parts. It was recovered from a lock-up garage where 16 other vehicles from similar burglaries were recovered also. I think the, the main thing is we don't lose sight. The enquiry is still focused and it's very much active at this moment in time. Back at Olympia's house, my team of Good Samaritans are determined to complete her bedroom before she returns tomorrow morning. So it's no surprise that they're prepared to work well into the night on the finishing touches. It's early morning, just hours before Olympia's homecoming, and West Yorkshire's crime prevention expert, PC Paul Croft, has returned to review the final security upgrade. Since his last visit, we've added sash jammers to the windows, dusk till dawn exterior security lights, and a timer circuit inside, which will turn internal lights on and off in a pattern. These new measures complement our earlier security work, which included fitting a new top-of-the-range alarm system, a panic alarm in the bedroom, a powerful motion-triggered light on the side of Olympia's house, and anti-snap locks on her front and back doors. So what's Paul's verdict? Uh, in terms of security uh, for this house, I think uh, before the offence was committed, we were probably looking at uh, something around about three or four out of ten, possibly. Uh, and after the work that's been done, uh, again, we're looking eight, maybe shading a nine on that one. So uh, very, very impressed with it. Um, so job well done. The moment of truth has come for Olympia, and I've got high hopes that she'll be thrilled to bits with the work that we've done. Now, Olympia, obviously, we changed the locks already and we put the alarm on, but I know you still felt a, a little bit vulnerable, so we've mm. made some extra changes as well. We've put on a new light, that's solar powered, so that's going to give off some gentle lighting so no one can hide around yeah. there. And on the inside, we've also put an additional security feature in that I want to show you. Have you? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And Olympia is an additional security feature. You can see there the light switch. You know that? Oh, yeah. Controls all your lights down here. Uh, you've got different settings for how bright you want the lights. Mm -hmm. But the really clever bit, mm -hmm. if you set the burglar alarm, they will turn the lights on and off randomly. That is amazing. Yeah. You know, that's the best thing that you could have 
possibly have done for me because I'm always told, you know, to put a light when I go out, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, I can never be bothered to set these little clock things. Mm -hmm. And then you're carrying, aren't you, sort of a table lamp somewhere. And that is just absolutely Brilliant. fantastic. Upstairs, Olympia's bedroom was looking tired. It hadn't been updated in years, and since the burglary, it's been the scene of many sleepless nights. I wanted to give this room a new lease of life and to give Olympia a brand new start, removing all the bad associations of the burglary. Hopefully, with our help, she'll be able to get a good night's sleep from now on. So, Olympia is a little extra. We wanted to give you your home back, and hopefully, you'd like your new bedroom. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, wow! <laughs> Oh, know, that is fabulous. Oh, my goodness. Because we know that how is. you felt so unsettled after what happened, and we wanted to, you to have some happy memories back. That is amazing. And the curtains. Yeah, special curtain. We even had Alex round with a paintbrush. You did. We did. Oh, he's a sweetie. Oh, and the photograph of <laughs> me as a baby. <laughs> that is fabulous. Oh, I can't believe it. That is really, 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 really gorgeous. There was a lot of people involved yeah. to make this happen, and they're outside. So, would you like to meet them? Gosh, I don't know what to say to them. What do you say when they've done all this? So, Olympia, none of this would have been possible without lots of people that have rushed down wow. to help you out. So if wow. you come down, introduce you to some of them. <laughs> All these people? Yeah, they're well, all local tradesmen and women. But it's so wonderful, I can understand why it's taken so many people to do. Thank you very, yeah. very much. And Alex, your brother's fabulous. over there as well. He came Where over to he? help. There he is. Hiya. You've actually helped, have you? What a lovely sight that is. All these local tradesmen and women and family members rushing over to help someone who so desperately needed them. And I think we've managed to take away some of those bad memories and given Olympia a load more happy new ones. Ah, that's on the bed and everything else yeah. lovely. It's really good to see that the community's come out to help Olympia and they've really pulled together. Uh, and that's what we want to see across all our neighbourhoods in West Yorkshire. You know, it was obvious what she had before was not enough and um, what she has now really looks so good. Thanks, Olympia. Thank you.